Welcome dear children to e-learning classes. We shall continue with our chapter number 10 mensuration. Now exercise 10.3. Find the area of the rectangles whose sides are. Now here some sides are given. We have to find out the area. First is 3 cm and 4 cm. Now here the length is given 3 cm and the breadth is 4 cm. So we will first take out the area of this rectangle. So we know the formula how to find out the area of rectangle. Now here 3 cm and 4 cm are given. So 3 is the length and 4 is the breadth. So area of rectangle will be L into B that is length into breadth. Now length is 3 cm and breadth is 4 cm. So multiplying 3 by 4 we get 12 cm square or square centimeter. So we will write the answer 12 square centimeter. Now B and C part you will do on your own. Now we come to D. 2 meters and 70 centimeter. Now here 2 meter is the length and 70 centimeter is the breadth. We will write length as 2 meters and breadth as 70 centimeter is equal to 0 0.70 meters. We will just divide it by 100. We will get 0 0.70 meters. Now we have already taken this in meters. So the area of rectangle will be L into B. Here length is 2 meters and breadth is 0 0.70 meters. So multiplying 2 by 0 0.70 we get 1.40 meters square. Now Roman number 2 we find the areas of the squares whose sides are 10 cm, 14 cm and 5 meters. Now children you know that squares having same length and breadth. Now 10 cm means the length is also 10 cm and the breadth is also 10 cm. So the solution is area of square is equal to side multiplied by side. So one side is 10 cm. So we will multiply side into side means 10 multiplied by 10 we get 100 cm square. So we will write area of the square is 100 cm square. B and C part you will do on your own. The next question the length and breadth of three rectangles are given below. Now children here also you have to take out the area of these three rectangles and then you have to answer the question which one has the largest area and which one has the smallest area. Now this also you can do on your own. Now we move on to question number 4. The area of a rectangle garden 50 meter long is 300 square meter. Find the width of the garden. Here what is given? The area of the garden is given and the length of the garden is given. We have to find out the breadth. So area of the garden 300 square meter that is given and the length of the rectangular garden is also given that is 50 meters. Now the area of rectangle garden is L into B. So 300 is equal to 50 multiplied by width. Now we want to take out what is width. So width is equal to 300 divided by 50. So dividing 300 by 50 we get answer 6 meters. So the width of this rectangular garden is 6 meters. Question number 5. What is the cost of tilling a rectangular plot of land 50 meters long and 200 meters wide at the rate of 8 rupees per 100 square meter? Now here children, the length of the plot is given and the breadth of the plot is given. And the tilling cost is also given that is 8 rupees per 100 square meters. Now first we will take out the area of this plot. So after taking out the area we will just multiply it by 8 per 100 square meter. Now solution to this the length of rectangular land is equal to 
500 meters and the breadth of the rectangular land is 200 meters. So the area of this rectangular land will be L into B that is 500 multiplied by 200. By we get the answer 1 lakh square meters. Now cost of tilling a rectangular land per 100 square meter is equal to 8 rupees. So we'll write 8 rupees is the cost. Now therefore cost of tilling 1 lakh square meter of land is equal to 8 multiplied by 1 lakh divided by 100. So multiplying 8 by 1 lakh is equal to 8 lakh. So we'll write 8 lakh and then divide it by 100. So two zeros gone. So the answer is 8000. So we can say that cost of tilling rectangular plot of land is rupees 8000. Question number 6. A tabletop measuring 2 meters by 1 meter 50 centimeter. What is the area in square meters? Now children here the length is given 2 meters but the breadth is given 1 meter 50 centimeter. Now we have to convert this into meters and then we will take out the area in square. So the length of the table top is 2 meters and the breadth of table top is 1 meters 50 centimeter is equal to 1.50 meters. So the area of table top will be L into B. Now we know the length is 2 meters multiplied by 1.5 meters that we have converted. So 2 multiplied by 1.5 is equal to 3 meters square. So the area of table top is 3 meters square. Question number 7. A room is 4 meters long and 3 meters 50 centimeter wide. How many square meter of carpet is needed to cover the floor of this room? Now here children the length is given and the breadth is given. So first we will take out the area of this room. And what is the carpet required? It is the same as the area of this room. So solution for this sum length is equal to 4 meters and breadth is equal to 3 meters 50 centimeter is equal to 3.50 meters. Now the area of carpet is equal to length multiplied by breadth. So length is 4 meters and breadth is 3.5 meters. So the answer is 14 meters square. Question number 8. A floor is 5 meters long and 4 meters wide. A square carpet of sides 3 meter is laid on the floor. Find the area of the floor that is not carpet. So children here the length and breadth of the floor is given and the side of the carpet is given 3 meters. Now we have to find out the area which is not carpet. So solution for this is length of the floor is 5 meters and the breadth of the floor is 4 meters. So the area of the floor will be length multiplied by breadth. So 5 multiplied by 4 we get 20 meters square. Now we take out the area of the carpet. So side of the carpet is given. The side of the carpet is 3 meters. So the area of the square carpet will be side multiplied by side. So we'll write side is 3 meters. 3 multiplied by 3 we get the answer 9 meters square. Area of the square carpet is 9 meters square. Now we have to find out the area of the floor that is not carpet. So we know that we have already taken the area of the floor. Minus the area of the carpet we get the answer of the area of floor that is not carpet. So 20 minus 9 we get the answer 11 meters square. Therefore, the area of the floor that is not carpet is 11 meters square. Question number 9. Five square flower beds each of side 1 meter are dug on a piece of land 5 meters long and 4 meters wide. 
what is the area of the remaining part of the land here children one land is given that is 5 meters long and 4 meters wide and in this land there are five square flower beds each of 1 meter is been dug so we have to find out what is the area remaining which is not dug so this solution for this is area of flower square bed is equal to 1 into 1 that is it is a square therefore 1 is the length and 1 is the breadth so the area will be 1 meter square and the area of such five square beds will be 1 multiplied by 5 that is 5 meter square so together five beds are been dug that is 1 multiplied by 5 we get 5 meter square now now length of the land is 5 meters and breadth of this land is 4 meters therefore the area of this land will be l into b that is 5 multiplied by 4 that is ln b so multiplying 5 by 4 we get the answer 20 meter square now the total area of this land is 20 meter square so remaining part of the land is equal to the area of the land minus area of five square beds so area of the land is equal to 20 meter square and the area of five square bed is equal to 5 meter square 20 minus 5 we get 15 meter square so remaining part of the land is 15 meter square i hope dear children you have understood up till here thank you